What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is another episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. So today, ang ginawa ko, pumunta ako sa Instagram ko and I started one of those yung mga questions na sticker. And I asked you guys if you had any questions that you'd like to ask me for Adulting with Joy Spring. As always, I had tons of replies and I'm really thankful for that. Not because I'm full of wisdom and I have a lot of answers, only because I feel like we all just want to start conversations like these. Whether or not we know um, how to go about this adulting thing or we don't, which we usually are the latter. It's really important na pag-usapan natin itong mga bagay na to. This is a question from Anne Cruz. Sabi niya, paano po maaalis yung pagiging mahiyain? Yung magkaroon ng self-confidence like you, ate. This is a question from someone I'm assuming that wants to be more out there. Pero naturally, mahiyain talaga sila. I know a lot of people who are like this and the common misconception is that kailangan mo ibato yung sarili mo to crowds and you know make new friends and all of these things but the first thing that i would suggest for you to do first and foremost is to be confident and comfortable with who you are that's the key to having confidence to face other people i think pag tinatanong tayo how to be more confident people would always go about how you should talk to people how you should be more adventurous but the thing is you cannot start conversations you can't be more adventurous if you aren't first comfortable with yourself. So ask yourself, how do I become comfortable with myself? First and foremost, you have to figure out what are your strengths and weaknesses. What are the things that you know about yourself, I guess. So halbawa ako, I wasn't very confident before, believe it or not. Marami akong insecurity. So I guess hindi naman ako mahiyain, but more of, I was too self-conscious naman. And what I had to do was kind of like start to accept myself before I could present myself. I figured out my strengths, which is I like to think. So I like to process things. And then my weaknesses, I don't like processing my emotions. I don't like expressing my emotions. And then I looked at those strengths and weaknesses and I just kind of like settled with myself now. Well, these are the things that I am by nature. These are the things that I'm strong at and weak at by nature. What do I want to adjust? What can I deal with? What can I accept? And then what do I want to adjust? And from there, once you've accepted who you are, you know who you are, you naturally will start becoming more confident. Kung mapapansin nyo yung mga bagay, yung mga tao sa paligid nyo who are very confident to the point na minsan nakakairit na na sila, it's because it's either sobrang insecure nila, so it's a facade, or sobrang kilala nila yung sarili nila, so they're fine with whatever. You know, you meet some of these people and you're naturally attracted to them because they just know who they are. And that's the most important thing. Know who you are, accept who you are, and make the changes that you want to make. Second is for you to go out of your comfort zone. Now, I know this is easier said than done. I know that it's easy to say na, go out of your comfort zone, try something new, make new friends. But it's not always the easiest thing. And sometimes, it's hard to even do the practical way of meeting people and trying out new things. But for me, the easiest thing that you can do to really make new friends and be more adventurous and to go out of your comfort zone is to try something new. Whether that's a new sport, a new hobby, become a part of a, I don't know, a book club, you know, try a new sport, get in touch with old friends, spend more time with your family. By putting yourself out there and allowing yourself to experience things that are outside of your comfort zone, you become more aware of who you are and the people around you. And I think that always gives you a boost of confidence. And mapapansin mo kasi na the more mistakes that you make, the more embarrassed you are in public, the more awkward you are, darating din sa point na parang ikaw, Okay, oh, sige, edi awkward na ako. Edi sige, um, embarrassed na ako. Pero magiging unti-unti ka ng comfortable with yourself because you just kind of get used to it. And you, you tend to learn to adjust. That's just human nature. You will learn to adjust to yourself and to the people around you because that's how we survive. We adapt to survive. So go out there, go out of your comfort zone, meet new friends, and go on new adventures. Last and definitely not the least, what I would tell you is to keep evolving and keep learning. 
The reason why I think most people are mahiyain is because sometime in their life, it's either people shut them down and told them na your voice doesn't matter or your opinion doesn't matter or who you are doesn't matter. Ito ka lang. And I feel like maybe some people don't do that na sinasadya nila. May mga taong sinasadya din nila. Minsan upbringing, minsan by nature kung bakit mahiyain ka. But what you can do is to constantly change and evolve. And I think when we do that, when we constantly change and evolve, natututo tayo na mahalin yung sarili natin in a way that we wouldn't know if we stayed who we are. You know, change is really the catharsis for a lot of good things. Some bad things, but a lot of good things as well. And when you put yourself through the process of changing, dun ka nagkakaroon ng new discoveries about yourself and about the people around you. With regards to evolving and changing, always remember that you are valued, that you are loved. And if the God of the universe loves you so much, then you should also learn how to love yourself and to love the people around you and to put yourself out there and to allow yourself to be embarrassed or awkward or mahiyain or whatever it is that you are. You don't have to fit a certain mold just to be an okay person or or someone to be proud of. You can be awkward and mahiyain and still be someone that you're proud of. You just have to know your value. It doesn't depend on what you achieve, what you accumulate, or who you think you are, yung mga itsura mo, ganyan yung mga pananamit mo. It's really your heart and it's really in knowing that God loves you. And if God loves you, what else matters, right? And you should learn to love yourself and to love other people as well. So. Those are my tips to be less mahiyain. I hope that made sense and I hope that helped you. I know that a lot of people are sometimes discouraged because it's really difficult to face other people and to be confident. And we need to be confident, most especially if we want to succeed in the work that we do, in our careers, in our relationships. But at the end of the day, everything is a constant evolution. Everything is a constant change. And you just have to remember that God loves you, which means that you can love absolutely anybody, including yourself. This has been Adulting with Joy Spring. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with the people that you love. Comment below if you have any additional videos that you'd like for me to do. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye!